What's going on guys, welcome to a new video. One thing I've been trying lately is trying to get into like this new routine of getting up early and then also going to bed early just to switch things up a bit. I've been like, uh, like prior to this, I used to get up like to 10 o'clock and then not go to bed till like two, three o'clock in the morning. And it wasn't as productive because at night I'm just not as productive as I used to be. And I noticed that up in the morning I can get so much more work done. So that's why I've been trying to get up like proper early and then going to bed early as well. And one thing I do to help me like get up and get active in the morning is as soon as I wake up, throw some clothes on, head outside, get myself a little cup of coffee and a paper cup, a little coffee to go, and then I just go for a walk around here. Uh, this is close to my house, so it's, it's just easy. Little 20, 30 minute walk, then head home and get some work done. What I also do is like to not to make this like a waste of time, is listen to audio books, podcasts, stuff like that. This is the book I'm listening to right now. And basically it's about like, it's, it's, it's about escaping the nine to five. So it's about like, not about quitting your job or anything like that, but it's like, it's about delegating and hiring like virtual assistants to do like, a lot of your work. And just explain how you can do like work from home or work from like, any place in the world basically and still get the work done. So uh, instead of being in the office for like eight unproductive hours, you can get your work done in two hours, like from the house, and then you've got all the time in the world to finish like all the projects and stuff like that. Anyway, I'm going to finish my walk, clean up a bit, grab some to eat, and then I'm going to meet a client for social media marketing. Some tweet or the shower stuff like that and now i'm at the office of the clients i'm doing social media for and it's sick because like this used to all be like an old jail and they've renovated it and then they've changed all that into apartments and then all that is all office blocks it's boss <laughs> I guess that's the meeting done. Meeting went well. We just discussed like, uh, like what I'm going to do with social media marketing and, and like some plans going forward, and also going to expand the website. So that's all good. Now it's back to headquarters. Or something. Back home again. Got me a little home office here, I'm reading nook here. And one thing I have really been trying to do lately is get more reading done. Uh, let's see, this is the book. Just finished, Personal MBA. I showed you this last time on one of my videos. And basically this book contains like all the information that you would get if you're doing like a Masters of Business Administration. Everything from like value creation to marketing to finance, improving systems, work with others, work with yourself, cash flow, anything like that. It is all in this book. So if you like me and you're into reading, then I highly recommend this book, Personal MBA by Josh Kaufman. So anyway, now that I've graduated school, it's just like I'm trying to figure out like what my next step is. Like what do I want to do? Do I want to keep studying? Do I want to go to university? Or do I want to like do something completely different? Do I want to work? Do I want to start my own business? All stuff like that. That is what I'm trying to figure out now. And it's like, to be honest, it's getting to me a little bit now because I had for, for like four years, I've, I've had that certainty of like, oh, I'm in uni and I don't have to think about it just yet. And now that time has come where I do actually need to think of a next step and take action. And I don't really know like what direction to go in just yet. Obviously, we've got JD Fitness. That's like uh, just a little source of income for me where I do meal plans and workout plans and online coaching, stuff like that. But one like another thing that I've really been looking into and what I actually enjoy doing is social media marketing, online marketing, content creation. And that is also something like I'm looking into, like seeing if I could make like, a business out of it or if something I could do full time, something that I can have like as a stable source of income. I don't know, just something off the top of my head here, just trying to figure out like, what do I like doing, what 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 could I see myself doing like, for a long period of time. And it's definitely not nine to five, like that, that's another reason why I'm reading the four hour work week as well. I don't wanna work for someone else like nine to five. It's, it's like it's not about the hours or it's not about like working for someone else. It's it's just I feel like I've got so much more creativity than to just work for someone else and like help someone else earn money like i'd rather earn money for myself and i know that i'm much more motivated if it is for myself so that is i'm just trying to figure out what the next step is basically i'll keep you guys posted that was a random little rant there but just had to get it out there obviously because i've been doing social media for a couple of companies couple of brands there's there's been like a few mistakes that i keep seeing companies make and i've actually 
typed up an ebook of like the top 10 social media mistakes that companies make when trying to create content. So this is what I've been busy with like these last two months, three months, something like that. Uh, top 10 social media marketing mistakes. I've actually typed it in Dutch, obviously because I live in the Netherlands, it's just easier, I can help my Dutch companies with it, but I am so, and I want like an English version, or I'm gonna type, uh, translate it into English as well, and maybe see if I can publish it. Like maybe somebody's gonna think like, a way to get all that information from, like what are you doing, what are you up to, and stuff like that. Uh, just like, after I finish uni, I've been doing like a social media course from Ty Lopez it's called the SSSMMA course. And basically it just shows you like there's all different types all different types of modules. Uh, they're all about an hour long, that's just everything to do with social media, from like starting your own business to like find local clients, how to do Facebook marketing, Facebook retargeting, uh, build sales funnels, everything from like social media marketing to email advertisements to cash in email leads, Twitter, Facebook, everything from content creation to social media marketing is in this course so that is what I've been doing that's what I've been trying to like teach myself is social media marketing anyway enough to I'm, I'm probably gonna do another module see if I can learn some more go to facebook.com forward slash ads forward slash manager and then you're going to click here over in the asset section you're going to click on pixels for the small businesses that you currently serve. So fast forward about six, seven hours later, uh, I actually like just got caught up doing that uh, social media marketing course. Then after that, I went to the gym and before I knew it was like a few minutes to midnight. So I'm gonna wrap up this video here. Sorry if this video was a bit like ambiguous, a bit strange, but like this phase in my life is quite ambiguous. Like I don't really know what direction it's going in. So I'm just trying to like document this journey. Let me know in the comments down below if you just want to see more like content creation type of videos or if you want me to just keep it strictly fitness. Let me know in the comments down below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Perfect.